Joining me this morning on Telecom TV is Phil Mottram, who is Vice President, Communications and Media Solutions at Hewlett Packard Enterprise. Phil, we're going to be talking today about 5G from the core to the edge of the network. What's HPE's offering for 5G? In terms of HPE's offering for 5G, we've got a range of offers. Um, and what, stand, what makes them stand now is the fact that they're consumption-based offers. So people can take our products and services and consume them on a kind of per usage basis versus an upfront payment. And in terms of the offers that we have, we have offers for both telecoms companies, where we have services in the telco core network, the telco edge network. And then we also have services for enterprise customers, helping them at the edge bring Wi-Fi and other technologies together with 5G. So what's HPE's background in the telecom sector? So HPE has a dedicated uh, business unit focused purely on providing software and services to telecoms operators. And serving that division, we have approximately 300 customers operating in 160 different countries around the world. And what are you announcing today for the Telco Core? So in terms of our announcements today, what we're announcing is we can help telecoms operators build their core network using a range of HPE technologies. And what we've developed is uh, software that works on the core network for telecoms operators. It's uh, open, it's cloud native, and we've pre-integrated that on top of HPE infrastructure, we're offering that on an as-a-service basis for telecoms operators. What would you say is the key differentiator of HPE's 5G solution? So where our solution is different uh, from our competitors is that we've developed a solution that's very open and cloud native, okay? And what that means is when telecoms operators deploy our solution, um, it should give them a faster time to get to market. And it will mean that they'll be able to upgrade and adapt features more quickly as they progress in the market. Some other elements that make the solution different, it's pre-integrated with HPE infrastructure, and we're charging for it on a consumption-based model. So that helps telecoms uh, companies match revenues and costs at the same time, because we're only charging them as they start using the platform. So can you explain a little more about the consumption-based model? Yeah, in terms of how the consumption-based model works, we have a particular offer within HPE called GreenLake. And I guess in the old world, when people were buying hardware infrastructure or software, they might pay upfront and make that investment up front. And what we're doing is we're saying, okay, well, we will deliver that to the customer and charge the customer as they use the service. So it's a consumption-based, as-a-service pricing model. If we now move from looking at the core towards looking at the edge, what's HPE solution at the edge of the network? Yeah, sure. In terms of um, HP solution at the edge of the network, um, it kind of depends on whether you're looking at it from the telco edge perspective or the enterprise edge perspective, because actually multiple edges happening here. But on the telco side, what we have is um, infrastructure that supports operators who want to roll out a virtual RAN network. So we've got some really good, uh, clever infrastructure there. And also we have some solutions in the multi-access edge computing or MEC area. And that's really where telecoms operators might want to keep traffic more local versus sending it all the way back over the network. So that's on the telco edge. And then on the enterprise edge, what we see is a convergence between Wi-Fi and 5G technologies. So what we've done is taken our Wi-Fi platform and they enabled that for 5G. So essentially, Wi-Fi becomes an on-ramp for 5G traffic. So how does this translate for the enterprise? Yeah, in terms of how this uh, translates for the uh, enterprise, we have two different products that we're uh, announcing today. One is called AirPass, and then the other one is called AirSlice. Okay? What AirPass is doing is it's allowing uh, traffic to go onto the Wi-Fi network and then seamlessly go onto the 5G network. So it kind of brings together Wi-Fi and 5G together for the enterprise customers. And then what Air Slice is doing is it's allowing enterprise customers to segment their Wi-Fi networks. So what they might want to do is break the network into different channels, and some channels might have less congestion, for example, lower latency than other channels. So it allows the enterprise customer to be able to build a Wi-Fi network that really works for them. Phil, thanks very much for sharing HPE's 5G strategy with Telecom TV. My pleasure.